Hello, today I'm going to be making rum and raisin ice cream in my camper van. Now I'm lucky I've got a freezer in my van, but if you haven't got a freezer in your van, don't worry because towards the end of this video I'm going to try a little experiment just to see if it is possible to make ice cream without the use of an expensive freezer. So stick around. <laughs> It's a good place to start would be to show you what you need, what ingredients are needed to make this ice cream. And we'll start with the obvious key ingredient, some dark rum, you're going to need a splash of that, some raisins. Now don't worry, if you don't want to make rum and raisin ice cream, you just want to make, play, make plain vanilla ice cream, you can as well using this simple recipe. You just don't need the rum and raisins, you just need a bit of vanilla essence. But because it's rum and raisin, I used I use brown sugar. Again, you don't need to use brown sugar, just white sugar or sweetener will do. Full fat evaporated milk. And this is the key ingredient. This is the thing that got everyone interested, I think, is the fact that in Wednesday's waffle, I said I'll make ice cream out of cheese. Well, this is the cheese you're gonna need. It's mascarpone cheese. I know what you're thinking, hang on, that's not cheese. Take a look at this photograph. If it's not cheese, then why is it sat on the shelf amongst all the cheeses? I think that settles that argument. <laughs> right. So we've got mascarpone cheese, rum, raisins, evaporated milk, a bit of brown sugar. And you're also going to want a little bit of water as well. And that's it. It's as simple as that. That's all you need. Right. So let's start by putting it all together. Well, I haven't got any flash mixing bowl, but I've got my big cup, which is what I use. So we start by putting the mascarpone cheese open the lid <laughs> in a suitable mixing dish and for that let's get that juice in there so we like the juice I'm just going to get my spoon I'm just going to spoon this in here and what I'm going to do rather than just put it in one lump it's best to put it in little bits at a time and I'll show you why in a minute because you need to break this down into smaller pieces and uh, it can be quite difficult if you put it all in one lump Let's just get that lid off properly. There we go. We'll get rid of that. We don't need that. We ain't got time for that. Right, so put globs of this in our cup or mixing bowl. If you're flash, you'll have a mixing bowl, right? Because <laughs> I'm just a poor van dweller. I don't have such things. Right, so we'll just leave that there for a minute because I need to do the rum. I forgot. <laughs> right, so we get our raisins. Put spoons in a little bit. Right, so probably for this size, you're going to want at least four spoons of raisins. But again, it's all down to your personal taste. I should have used a glass really so you could see through it. But it's not important. What we need to do now there should be enough here to make two portions right so i use two lids that way i know if i eat one portion i'm not going to be over the limit but if i eat the whole thing i probably will be <laughs> so that's why we only put two caps in there and it is just for the flavor remember not to not for any other reason, purely for the flavour. So there you go, we leave, we should leave this overnight to soak, but um, we ain't got time for that. Now for the brown sugar, what we do, we get some brown sugar. Again, this is purely for your own taste. I don't like a lot of sugar because it's very rich anyway and there is sugar in those raisins. So I just use one spoon of sugar like that and that is plenty for me that's plenty sweet enough and then we have a bit of warm water in the cup with the sugar not too much we don't want it too runny we don't want to water our ice cream down and then with that warm water we just melt the sugar and make a mess <laughs> we make like a syrup so this is a brown sugar syrup as you can see it's like a nice brown syrup 
So we'll leave that to one side to let that sugar melt. So while they soak, we get our evaporated milk. Now there's no fixed measure for this. I just pour it in, mix it up, pour a little bit in until you get a nice creamy consistency. You don't want it so runny that the raisins drop to the bottom. You want it thick enough so that it can suspend the raisins. Does that make sense? Yeah, you just don't want it too runny. So I just do a little bit at a time. Probably about a quarter of a tin. That's all you need really. It does water down quite easily. See at the moment, at the moment, <laughs> it's like this. We don't want that. We want it to roll off the spoon. So we mix this up now. We're just going to keep mixing this using the other spoon because it does tend to stick to the spoon like that. And eventually it will break down into a creamy consistency. But don't be tempted to put too much of this evaporated milk in at first because all we want to do is make it creamy. We don't want it too, um, too runny because otherwise the raisins will just sink to the bottom. So when it's frozen, you'll have a layer of raisins in the bottom of your um, dish and they won't be suspended. So it's just a matter of pushing the back of the spoon against the mixing bowl, breaking it down and making it nice and creamy. I think about a quarter of a tin probably does it, for those of you that want to know the exact measurements. Any more than that, and I think it'll be far too runny. By the time we add our sweet syrup as well. I say this is basically your ice cream, your mascarpone cheese enjoy evaporated milk and a bit of sweet syrup and from here on you can add anything you like to it we'll add this little mixture of water and it's literally just a little bit look so that's all it is it's a couple of spoonfuls of syrup in there this is our syrup i'm just going to try this as an experiment i've got it here ready so Michael sent me this. I'm gonna put it in there before I turn it on, otherwise it's gonna splash everywhere. There's different speeds, as you can see. There you go, top speed. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's really worked well. Right, let's turn it off. Let's put it in there. Right, so now I'll show you with the spoon. We've got this nice creamy, consistency this is what you want so that those raisins get held in suspension now there's more liquid in here with our rum so that's going to make it even more runnier I hope I haven't overdone this made it too runny that looks perfect I think I might have got away with it but there you go this is my ice cream mix so we just have a little taste be rude not to we won't use that spoon, we use this spoon. I'm just checking for sweetness, make sure it's sweet enough, and it is. That's lovely, that is, that's absolutely perfect. Now, if you've got a freezer, if you're going to put this in a freezer, use a tin cup, a metal cup, because the cold air inside the freezer seems to make it freeze a lot quicker. So I'm just going to carefully spoon this in here, and put this in a freezer make it so much mess yeah you can't see it but the raisins are staying on top so it's just perfect it's just the right consistency i think i've managed to get away with that now that i've stirred it a little bit yeah the right the raisins are staying in suspense in suspension <laughs> that's the word i don't know so we're going to put half of this in this cup and we're going to put this in the freezer and the other half I'm going to save for my little experiment to see if we can freeze this without using a freezer. So for those of you that don't have a freezer in your camper van, don't be disheartened because you can still make ice cream and I'm going to show you how. Right. There you go, look at that, it's actually, you can see, the 
the raisins are stain on top. Probably not. Let me just bend the camera down a bit. So there you go. You can see that the raisins aren't sinking. They're float. They stay. If I put that one on top, it will stay on top. It's not going to sink down into the mixture. See, the raisins are staying in suspension, and that's exactly how you want it. You don't want those raisins going down. So right, I'm going to put this in my little freezer, and then the other half, I'll show you. Well, this is an experiment. <laughs> I'll show you how. Theoretically, with a little bit of science, a little bit of chemistry, um, you can freeze ice cream without a freezer. All right, let's put this in there because we know this is going to work. Oh, that's so good. Right. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say to those of you out there that are probably thinking, why bother making your own ice cream? Why not just go and buy it? Well, the fact of the matter is, rum and raisin ice cream is really hard to find. Not many shops sell it, so that's why I make my own rum and raisin ice cream. Now the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to make just regular ice cream, but without using a freezer. And again, you're probably thinking, why bother? Why not? It's fun. That's it. The whole point of this is that it's just for the fun of it. You could just go and buy a regular ice cream, or you could give these simple ingredients to your kids, minus the rum and raisin. <laughs> <laughs> and let your kids have some fun. So this next part of the video is purely for the fun of it, so don't shoot me down in the comments. Right, so to make ice cream without a freezer, you're going to need, and this is where people are going to comment, because you're going to say, why bother? You're going to need a pack of ice. So you're going to need to go to the shops to get your ice. But like I say, by making your own ice cream, you know what's gone into it, right? There's no nasty chemicals going in this. And your ice cream machine is going to be a polythene bag, a medium sized polythene bag, and a larger polythene bag. I actually went out and bought these purely to make this video. All right, thank you later. <laughs> All right, so what we do to make our ice cream machine, we first put our ice cream in a bag, and this is a syllable sealable bag right so it's got a zipper on it so we can seal it um I'm trying to do this without making a mess actually i might put my bowl up here let's do this above the bowl because i'm about to make a mess right it's not exactly pourable so we put our cream mixture into the first bag all right get as much in there as we can not going to be a lot. I didn't leave a lot for this, but that's okay. It'll work better. The less you have in there, the probably the quicker it'll work. The good thing about this, if it works, I get ice cream straight away. I haven't got to wait all night. <laughs> Here's my dessert for later. Right. Sorry about the scraping noise. Maybe for this, we could have had it a bit runnier, a bit more milk. Shall I put some more in there just for the experiment? No, no, we'll leave it the same. Leave it the same, Mel. Don't mess about it too much. Right, so there's our... Let's put that there next before. There's our ice cream mixture. Granted, not a lot. So we seal this bag. get the air out of it actually. Try and get some of that air out. Right, rum and raisin ice cream mixture in one bag. Now for our ice cream machine, you get a bigger bag. You open that up. Nice. Scissors or knife. Where's my scissors? Here they are. We get big chunks of ice. I'm gonna break these up. Now this is a little bit scientific. This is a little bit of chemistry involved in here. 
So that's our ice in there. We've got our ice in the bag. Next thing we do is get some salt. This is where the chemistry comes into play. You'll need about half a cup. And what this does, the salt causes the ice to get even colder. Don't ask me how it works, I don't know. But if you know, leave a comment below. Right. About half a cup of salt in with our ice. Now our ice cream goes in the bag. Put a bit more ice on top of that. Not really a lot in there. Put some more ice in there. This is getting really cold. Obviously if you're going to do this, use more of an ice cream mixture. There's not really a lot in here. Seal it up, because we don't want to make a mess. Because we've made enough of that already. And that is it. Now we simply agitate this. Shake it up. That is going to get really cold, really quick. So, I'm going to put these grubby old gloves on. You could obviously wrap this up in a towel, and this is going to take about five minutes. So, um, just stir that up a little bit, and leave that to sit for about five minutes. All right? clock's gone. Right, back in five minutes. Well, I gave it a good agitation. I let it sit whilst I did all the washing up. So it's been a little bit over five minutes. So let's see how it looks. My hands are absolutely frozen. I think I've got frostbite. <laughs> Was it worth it? Let's have a little look. <sighs> yeah, that's frozen. <laughs> that is actually frozen. I'd say pretty much worked, but let's take a look at the consistency of what's in the bag. Um, don't really want to get any salt on it. <laughs> Salted ice cream? Uh, maybe. <laughs> That's definitely worked. Look at that. <laughs> Salty. Right, let's have a look if we can spoon it out. I don't have to yeah, I think we can pretty well say that it's definitely frozen. Not very attractive looking. Maybe I left it in there a bit too long, I think, because it's a bit too frozen. But that is definitely frozen. Yeah, I think... <laughs> Hang on, I've got an idea, because the outside of the bag is covered in wet, salty water. And that's not going to do much for me flavour of the ice cream. I should have thought of this. If I get a towel. I'm just going to zip that back up. Like I say, it's the first time I've done this, so this is a bit of a learning curve. I'm just going to wipe all the water off the outside of the bag. It might actually come out of the bag easier now. Because as I'm doing this, it's literally falling out as I'm doing it. <sighs> so cold, I can't believe how cold it gets. There we go. I guess that's the whole point of ice cream, right? <sighs> that is super thick. Look at that. Just to show it has worked. There we go. Folks, I think that was a success. So there you go. That is how you make ice cream, even though it's not very pretty. <laughs> you make ice cream without using a freezer. So there you go. Go and get yourself some ice cubes, a bit of salt, some milk and cream, and have a little bit of fun. Right now, fast forward to the very next day and we'll take a look at what the ice cream has turned out like in my fridge. Because I know you're all wondering. <laughs> Let's take a look. 
I'm sitting the wrong way round for this. <laughs> now I did turn my freezer right down, so this is going to be frozen solid. Take a look at that. <laughs> Looks like it's got a smiley face. <laughs> it's smiling just like me. Oh, look at that. Look at the colour of it. That's beautiful. That is just something... <laughs> that is... Well, it's a bit early in the morning for this, but that is absolutely spot on. Right, I'm going to put this back in the freezer. Look at that. So creamy. I'm going to get so fat. Right, I'm going to put this away, otherwise I will end up eating it for breakfast. Oh, we don't want to do that. That's not a good way to start the day. Now once I've had my breakfast, I'm going to be fitting this GPS tracker to my van. Um, and hopefully get that video up for Friday. So thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. If you want to see Friday's video, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that way you won't miss me fitting that tracker. I'm not going to show you the make of it, just in case it's a pit and So uh, I'll see you Friday. Thanks for watching. Tell Al